Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. Today, I'm going to show you Fire Plume Ridge Fire Elemental Farm, as well as this is the spot of the Fire Elemental Elemental Invasion. So, how the Elemental Invasions work is this dude, um, I don't know his name, it's probably something fire related. He spawns here. He has he can spawn every couple days and he will um and he brings with him a ton of additional fire elemental adds which have a high drop rate for elemental fire, um essence of fire and other things like that. Now when you're here farming these, it's not very uh fast or too efficient you you can kill maybe one to two at a time around the volcano in Angoro crater um, this is a decent spot uh, for farming essence of fire elemental fire and they're a higher level so you do have a higher chance to get um, better BOEs things like that however they're as far as alternative gold goes this isn't the best place in my opinion because of just their how spread they are um and how much they don't drop um anything other than like coal or the elemental fires it is a questing hub as well um for a few quests here in the crater as well as the end quest for lincoln sword or your orb of aquamentus so you pretty much just run around the mountain in a circle killing these. If you run out of things to kill, you can always look for um, the Stone Guardians, which we did a video on a little bit ago, um, that roam along the riverbank here. Um, you shouldn't really run out, especially if there are um, if there's no invasion. Oh, as we can see, we got some alliance here. Maybe they might try to kill me be very sad if they did but they might not because world pvp doesn't really happen outside of the um outside of av now considering the uh av is the best source of honor and everything that you can get with it but as you can see this farm is pretty slow and not that rewarding yet we can get elemental fires, which would be huge. They're upwards of six gold, I think. Five, six gold right now. Let's check. Yeah, four, four fifty for one. And I, my priest is an alchemist, as you guys know, so I can turn that into a. Um, I can turn that into a uh, greater fire protection potion, which sell for a lot of money. But anyway, yeah, we just sort of loop around the volcano. If you have herbalism or anything else, you can make this farm quite worth it. If you're lacking those things, then it becomes a lot less worth it for you. But it's still pretty decent if you get those elemental uh, fires, which can have around the 10-12% 10, 10, drop rate. So every 10 kills, you should get one. But as I said, these are pretty farmed and a lot of people are just here waiting for the chance to get that elemental fire invasion, which is the big one. As far as the elemental invasions go, there is a fire one here in Angoro Crater. It spawns right here, as I've been talking about. The other invasions are as follows. We have the Silithus one, which are uh, which is an air invasion and they have a higher chance to drop elemental airs, essence of airs, things like that. He spawns at the Crystal Veil. And this is a great spot, as you see all from the last video, for killing earth elementals or air elementals if you choose. I chose to farm the earth elementals because they were much better for me and earned more um, gold than killing the air elementals would have. Um, then the next spot that we have is going to be... Uh, winter spring this is where the uh, water elemental spawns he has a high drop rate for a ring that gives you 14 frost damage as well as essence of water elemental water 
and it's pretty great so you can earn a bunch of uh, money because he drops a uh, 14 frost ring which is great for mages who don't have two spell power rings and are lacking uh, one of them and don't have a replacement or haven't bought it yet. However, you can't kill these bosses alone, so keep that in mind if you're attempting to go for that. I'm just super interested in getting one of these elemental spawns just to farm the ads that come with them. Because the ads that come with them have a very high chance to drop everything else other than the... Um, other than... Uh, killing the big bosses because the water boss is really the only boss you want to kill because once you kill them they stop spawning so that's very key in all this and then we have the final one which is right about here this is an elemental earth spawn and or it's the earth elemental spawn which drops elemental earth essence of earth and a lot of other great stuff that you can hope to claim now that being said these spawn every few days so there's really no way of knowing where you can get these how to get them if they're up other than the bosses will yell zone wide that they're invading and when they do that that gives you a much greater chance of getting money and stuff so anyway guys i'm gonna farm here for an hour just to show you what this can be um it hasn't looked too great honestly there's a lot of people here and we haven't gotten any luck with an elemental fire or anything like that. So we're just going to keep going and maybe we'll get lucky and make this worth it. But this spot is only really good if you can get the elemental fire invasion. Because as you can see they don't really drop much. Anyway guys I will tell you anything of significance and I will see you later. Whoop! Alrighty guys, so after an hour of hard farming, we killed 90 of these um, Scorching Elementals. Um, this actually turned out to be much better than I thought. It was as good as the Sophus one, you know. We got a few more lucky drops than we did there, but we were able to get an Essence of Fire and eight element or seven, seven Elemental Fire. Sorry, we started with one before we got here. Um, burning pitches, which will vendor nice. Heart of fires, which are good to save for later, because in phase five, when AQ rolls out, you can get a pattern that for alchemy through the Thorian Brotherhood that you can turn them into um, uh, three elemental fires. It's an X mute, and it has like a two-hour cooldown or something ridiculous. It's a lot quicker than the others, <clears throat> so that's pretty freaking cool. But yeah, these are great farms, great way to uh, get money. And if the elemental invasion happens while you're out here farming these, it'll be insane. Now, I'm looking into Winter Spring Farms as well as Azara Farms to sort of show you how you can farm and wait for the other elemental invasions. As well as if I happen to find one, I will absolutely show you guys that in a great way to farm those elementals that spawn around it and hopefully people don't kill the boss just because they can but anyway guys that is that farm right there and i think it was very very good um i'm a bot and ran out of runes so i gotta make a portal but anyway i think this has a lot of potential i mean you are always gonna make money doing these farms um, whether you're making potions for now, if you have alchemy, or you just want to sell the raw materials, all of them sell really well. Now, one downside of that spot there in Angoro is it is solely based on elemental fires. And they're quite expensive on my server. And that being said, they might not be the same on your guys' servers. So just keep that in mind, because if you have a lot um, less value for the elemental fires that farm is not going to be worth it for you because there's really we got 22 burning pitches that's all we were able to sell so if you're not able to get that kind of stuff then it's not going to be worth it for you so just keep that in mind when you head out here to farm and yeah i'm trying to cover all the elemental invasion spots just stuff you can do while the um while we're in phase 2.5, anything new and exciting that came with it, um, 
AVs pumping, um, getting that rep, and trying to get exalted. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. And if there's any suggestions for future videos or something you'd like me to go over, I'd be happy to tell you everything that I can find on it or know about it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. If you made it to the ending, thank you so much for watching this video. It really helps. If you could, please share this with like one person you know because it would help me so, so much. I'd appreciate that. Really gets me going on this and can keep growing to make this sustainable and keep up this lifestyle. So I super appreciate it. And if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.